so without wasting much time we will directly get to the solution on this login screen in the keyboard press ctrl alt and f3 now you see this prompt here now you have to type your username here now after typing username press enter now type your user password and press enter so now you are in the in MFS prompt okay tty3 now first of all you need to make sure that you have nanotext editor installed in the system so for that you need an internet connection so either you can use LAN to connect to the internet or you can enable USB tethering in your Android mobile via USB cable okay so I'll be using USB tethering here and I have successfully enabled USB tethering and connected a device to the PC so now let me ping to google.com and you can see it's working okay so we have an active internet connection here now we can proceed with the installation of nanotext editor I have given the link for the all of these steps to be followed it so just download the file from the description and read it and follow the steps or you can just watch the video and keep it going I'm using Arch Linux so I will be using here sudo pacman minus syu space nano okay the command for specific distribution is given in the description so just download it press enter enter your user password now it will download the nano text editor now it's saying you have to download 0.58 MB so type Y and press enter and it has downloaded okay in the method 1 for fixing the problem we will be editing the grub file okay so just type here nano space slash etc slash default slash grub okay and press enter now you have the grub file so in here you see this line this one up to quite and after quite you have to place this line and here you have to enter this command n o u v e a u dot no mode set equals zero okay and after that here you can see to write out the changes you have this one write out control o so you have to press control o in the keyboard and then control x to exit this file so this will fix the problem and reboot the pc okay the fix 2 is only for debian based distros like ubuntu kali mint cinnamon mx linux etc now in the fix number 3 we are going to install some packages so i'm using arch linux as i told you for other distributions the link in the description will tell you which commands to execute okay now press enter now type your user password here and press enter now it will download this much mb of data so type y and press enter and it has successfully installed remember this command here link will be in the description just download it execute this second command also and it's not found that's okay remove until this and install the first one type y and press enter it has also successfully installed okay now enter this command okay and press enter now it's saying permission is denied all right so first of all you need to type sudo su and now you have to type this command again all right the complete one and now press enter and it has got successfully executed okay now after entering this first command that we did earlier now you have to execute this second command all right its link will be provided in the description remember we have two greater than signs here okay and press enter now type cat slash etc at this file name to see the contents of it and you can see we have two lines here okay that we did into this file all right now after this type ls space etc x11 xorg.conf.d to see the contents of this folder now you have this file okay 01 keyboard layout.conf so the culprit is this file okay so you have to delete this file so rather than deleting we will just rename it so it will not be used in the system okay 
so first of all we will cd into this directory okay and press enter now we are in this directory xorg.com.d now here use this command to rename this file to dot back extension move this file name that we show here to this file name dot back okay so it will not be loaded into the system as this file okay and now press enter now see the contents of this file here and now you see we have the extension changed all right so it will not be used here now list the contents of this folder user share x11 xorg.conf.d okay now press enter now here you see we have this file 40-libinput.conf okay this file is mandatory for getting rid of the touchpad freeze issue all right so if you don't have this file get it from the description and place it into this folder this one okay now to copy this file into this folder if you don't have this file here just boot into a live usb iso of ubuntu or any other linux distribution and mount the root partition of this system and then use root access from the terminal and copy this file from there to this directory okay and then reboot the pc and you will have the problem solved so we will just type here reboot now and after pressing enter you can see that my cursor is working again now if those three fixes doesn't work then you have to unplug all of your usb devices okay just disconnect them all of them okay and after that just type sudo reboot now now don't connect all these devices mouse keyboard or anything else like LAN cable or something first you have to log in into the system then wait for one minute when you are logged into the system and then after one minute you have to connect all of your secondary devices like mouse keyboard or all of them okay and you won't face this problem again you need to make sure that all of your USB devices are disconnected while you are booting the Linux operating system. Okay. And after booting into the system, just wait for one minute and then connect the external devices and you won't be having this touchpad freeze problem. Okay. Now it's rebooting the PC. Now here the cursor is working. Enter the password and press enter. And now it's opening up. And now here you can see the cursor is working without any kind of problems so we have just fixed the problem using three ways okay please subscribe to support boost up station and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more